classical conditioning was was uh, initially discovered and studied by Ivan Pavlov, who was a Russian physiologist. And his uh, goal in his early career was to study the digestive process. And the strategy that he adopted was to study uh, the behavioral reactions, the physiological reactions that occurred uh, as something entered the mouth. His strategy was thwarted very early on uh, when he found that uh, the dogs he was studying became, in his words, psychics. He would take a dog and he'd food deprive it, and he'd put it on a little stand. And what he'd do is he'd blow some meat powder into the dog's mouth and study the salivary reflex. And after a couple of days of this procedure, he found that the dog, would, when he entered the stand, would begin salivating in anticipation of being fed. <clears throat> and at that point, his experiment was ruined because he couldn't study the reaction to the food the dog was salivating as a psychic, predicting that he was going to get food. After some initial frustration, Pavlov soon realized the importance of the connection he had observed. His very presence seemed to trigger an automatic response in the dogs, the salivary reflex. Pavlov wondered if the conditioning he had observed could be repeated with another seemingly unrelated stimulus. The story goes that uh, Pavlov's laboratory uh, actually lived above his laboratory. At that point, he ran upstairs and stole a metronome off of his wife's piano and brought it down into the laboratory. And as an experiment, what he'd do is he'd turn this metronome on for a minute or two, and then he'd deliver the food to the dog's mouth. And after several pairings of this metronome, which didn't elicit any salivation, wasn't a food object for the dog, um, pairings of that with the delivery of food to the animal, the dog began salivating to the metronome. Before the dogs were conditioned, the unconditioned stimulus of food triggered an unconditioned response, that is, the salivary reflex. In other words, Pavlov's dogs did not have to learn to salivate when food was placed in their mouths. And under normal circumstances, they wouldn't salivate at all to the sound of a metronome. The metronome is a neutral stimulus. But when the neutral stimulus, the metronome, was repeatedly paired with the unconditioned stimulus, the food, the dogs began to salivate at the sound of the metronome alone. This neutral stimulus became a conditioned stimulus and the salivary reflex became a conditioned response. There are many examples of classical conditioning in humans. One of the earliest experiments was conducted by psychologist John Watson, who conditioned a baby to fear a white rat by pairing the rat with a loud noise. Eventually, little Albert came to fear other furry white objects, including rabbits, cotton, and even Watson wearing a Santa Claus beard.